So we all know that emissions from cars and vans is a problem and causes all sorts of health issues and so we are developing technology to, to deal with this, to make the air cleaner to breathe. My name is Mispa. I'm a senior principal scientist at Johnson Matthey. I work as a computational chemist developing atomic scale models of catalysts that are used to clean up emissions. So, can software be used to tackle air pollution? As a computational chemist, I use software to design the next generation of catalysts that are used to clean up the air that we breathe, such as this one here. Once we've identified the ideal material, we will then take it into the lab for testing. So this, using computational approaches, makes the whole process much faster, so the experimentalists are not screening through hundreds of materials in the lab. It's really exciting to see kind of a model that's kind of made a prediction, taken into the lab and seeing whether the predictions are, are right and seeing that go into a product. So one in three cars use a Johnson Matthey catalyst and we estimate that 20 million tonnes of pollutants are prevented from being emitted every year by using one of our catalysts. There's a lot of problem solving involved. Things don't always work the, the first time. I also work very closely with scientists with different specialities. So there's a lot of communication of the, the results that I, that, that I get from my models. So I, I grew up in, um, in London, went to my local school, and I really, really enjoyed science. I had a very inspirational science teacher and decided to study at university. You don't have to go to the best schools to be able to, to study chemistry. Science is for everyone. There's a, a, a wide variety of career options for you out there, exciting areas to work in that can kind of make a difference to society today. I'm really happy with the, the research that I do. I feel that it's making a difference to the planet in terms of making things cleaner and healthier.